Good day, today we are looking at a nice trace for muddies, especially for the Orange River mudfish. And we are looking at a very short vol dam um, trace. So I'm going to show you how I do it. What do I need? I need um, some line for the hook, some hook line, for when I'm fishing the muddies on a short trace especially with a 5 cm hook length I fish with a 10 pound um, hook length because you might um, get doubles quite frequently and then as a shaft line at least 0.45 to 0.55 um, I normally use a transparent or a fluoro type um, shaft line but for the purposes of showing it on camera better I'm, I'm using this um, monster carp black uh, just so that you can see exactly um, how I do it okay how do we do it I start off with from the bottom of the trace a sinker this is the type of sinker that I use on a muddy trace um, the reason is that I can put a soft or a, a harder bomb onto it and it will still stick and it sits at the bottom it's got a little curtain ring at the top and it's a mushroom top I use um, 0.8 so 08 a Fianan 08 hook Two small swivels, some gummy stops, and a safety snap or a snap swivel at the bottom of the tray so I can store it easily. Okay, how do I go about? I start off with a shaft line. The loop at the top is quite important now although for the muddies you will not cast as hard um, but what I do I make a figure eight knot for this all I do is that I twist it once and I put it in from the back that's it so you can see that there is a figure eight you can see the eight before you put it tight just big enough for your finger to fit in and um, to loop over your stand. Now, although you ain't only going to make a 20 centimeter um, shaft line, I start off with a much longer one, maybe even 40. So it's just easier to work with. So that's what you need. Then I need two hook links, so I've already built one. I'm going to show you how I build the other one. I use my 10 pound line. When I do this, I always use um, a hook tire. It's just the easiest for me. To do that, you need a bit of a, a weight onto the line of the spool of the um, line. So not something heavy, just like that, so that you can apply a little bit of tension. Put the 08 into the hook tire. Start off with the line through the eye. Now you'll see that there's those two pegs are there. You go from the front to the well, from me towards the camera, back like that. And all you have to do is do about eight or nine turns on the shaft of the hook. That's it, and it goes back to there. Press and hold with your finger. So you have this camera, press or hold, push it down. What that does, it releases that line at the back, and then you can just apply the tension or pull it through. Comes right through. That's it. Loosen this, 
keep on pulling. That line will pull right through the knot. That snell there will pull through. Then you can use that piece of wire just to tighten it. That's it. You can now once again cut it off maybe 15 or 20 centimeters so that you you have a, a long enough line to work with um, even though you're only going to use five centimeters so i measure it always measure it five centimeters and here i do a palomar knot there are two reasons why i do a palomar the first is because it's a, a very strong knot and it goes <coughs> through the, the swivel twice. But the other reason is also with the Palomar, you can make it exactly five centimeters. Because the only important thing that you need to do is once you've done that Palomar, like that, granny knot, Back in, loop over the swivel, easy one to do, pull it back over the, that line and you just pull it tight. So if you keep these two lines together all the time, it will be exactly five centimeters as you started off with. That's the reason why I use a Palomar. There's two five centimeter little hook links. Um, you can also do a normal snell knot onto that with the hand or you can use, I, I just like to use the tool for that. Then the next part is to use um, the shaft line and to get the gummy stops over them. Why I like to use a gummy stop is you can decide exactly where on the trace you want your hook lines to sit. Um, when you use a gummy stop, especially with a bit of a thicker line, I always just wet that a little bit. Then the hook line, another gummy stop. What is important is that when you buy gummy stops, just make sure that the size of the gummy stop and the size and diameter of the line is matched up because if it is too small it really battles to um, to get onto the shaft line okay so that's it and you can put it wherever you want so let's do it twice it's going to be four gummy stops that's it so four gummy stops Two clinks, five centimeter. So now we're going to measure this at 20. Just keep the line and add the snap saw. And I use a safety snap in this instance. And that's it. As easy as that. There you have a short muddy trace which you can manipulate. Move the hook links wherever you want them, down to the bottom, up to the top, one to the bottom, one to the top, whatever way you like it. The mushroom white with the curtain ring gives you an excellent option to put a soft or a hard bomb whatever which way you like it that's it that is a very very effective um, muddy trace especially in the Val river and the Val dam <music>